This is a 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. 350 cubic inch, 350 horsepower engine, four on the floor, chrome side pipes down the side, convertible, gets a whopping four to eight miles to the gallon. This is not the future of transportation. In 1969, this car cost just under $3,500. Today, to buy this car, a 2021, you're probably looking at north of $100,000. Today, this car sells anywhere between $75,000 and $100,000, depending on the condition of the car and the buyer and how bad they really want it. The average car in the United States costs $36,000 and the average American pays $554 a month in car payments over a 69 month period of time on average. Now, when I say 69 months, most of you go, well, wait a second, isn't 60 months the longest? The answer is no, 72 months is now the longest. You can finance a car. Talk about a depreciating asset. Today, my life's a lot different. I drive this car once a month, and when I do, I watch the gas gauge go like this. And I see every gas station look at me and go, oh, please stop here. Yet, this is not the future. When you want to buy a depreciating asset in cars, this is what's going up in value. The future is electric vehicles. But in this video, I'm going to tell you why now is not the time to buy one. Tesla really has broken the ice for electric vehicles. It actually has put the big boys of vehicle manufacturing on their heels. The Chevrolets, the Fords, the Jaguars, the BMWs, even Porsche now is in the game. But they're so far behind Tesla that it's going to be years before they get the technology, the software to be where they need to be, to be a dominant player in electric vehicles. Number one, the average household in the United States makes $63,179,000 a year before taxes. Number two, the average car payment in the United States is $554 a month, and that's on an average over 69 months. There are 168,000 gas stations in the United States. Figure they each have eight pumps, you multiply that times 168,000 gas stations, and you got roughly 1.3 million outlets to pump, put gas in your car. Here in Florida, where I live, I see more and more Teslas each year, more and more electric vehicles. I even saw the new Porsche electric vehicle driving down the road. It's a beauty. I mean, you can't beat the styling. It looks like it's going fast just standing still. But the question is, is this the time to buy one? But more importantly, is this the time to buy their stocks? The average electric vehicle costs $55,600. A year ago, that was $66,300, a decline in price of roughly 13.4%. In the United States, there's just over 78,000 outlets that you can charge your electric vehicle. In California alone, there's just over 28,000 outlets. There's 25,000 stations in the United States, and 6,800 of them are in the state of California. So as you can tell, the electric vehicle market has been embraced by the state of California. But what about the rest of the United States? Well, if there's 28,000 outlets in just in California alone, and there's 78,000 outlets in the United States, that leaves 50,000 outlets to be spread out amongst the other 49 states. So my question is, where do I charge up between here and Washington state if I'm making a cross country trip from Florida? The average electric car costs $55,600. On a monthly basis, if you finance that over 60 months, you're looking at just over $900 before taxes. The average American household only makes 63,000 and some change as overall before taxes, and they're averaging $554 in monthly car payments. It's basically a 400 and some odd dollar difference between electric cars and conventional combustion engine cars. 
So where is this whole idea of electric vehicles taking over and putting the combustion engine car out of business? According to my calculations, based on a 13.4% devaluation each year in the price of electric vehicle, it would be best for me to buy an electric vehicle in about five years to when the average electric vehicle is down around the average combustion engine car, around $36,000. So being a money manager, my question is, is this the time to buy electric vehicle stocks or should I wait? My thought is, now is not the time, well, now is not the time for a long-term purchase of electric vehicle stocks. And the reason is, it's because hype, because of motion, because markets right now are driven on leverage and momentum. And right now, the electric vehicle stocks are the most popular stocks on the market. I do believe, though, there will be some great buying opportunities in electric vehicle stocks in the coming months. Here's why. Right now, COVID is escalating throughout the United States. Last I heard, it was 126,000 new cases uh, as of last Friday for just Friday alone. So what that's telling me is that states like New York and Oregon are, going to be, are the leaders in another shutdown. Well, what happens if we get shut down? What happens when I'm told to stay home? I have no use for a vehicle. I have no use for buying an electric vehicle, at, for that matter. So the sales and vehicles in general should start to decline. So if you start to look at the electric vehicle stocks and you look at the run-up they've had in the last month or so, maybe there's a better time in the near future to buy those stocks at lower values. I'm a big believer in risk ranges. Determining what that risk range is in that stock and then buying at the low end and selling at the top end. Now, for those long-term investors who give me the argument, well, I'm just buying for the next five years, let's look at that. You have a devaluing uh, price amount, so it becomes more affordable. And the number of electric car, cars purchased in the United States over the next five years will go up. I give you that. Number two, President-elect Joe Biden has indicated that he will give a bigger tax credit for buying an electric vehicle. Cool. So that 55000 how much of that do I get to write off on my tax return? And is that actually maybe a good tax strategy? Ask your CPA. But the stocks right now are being driven by high-frequency trading and institutional traders who are not looking out five years. Rather, the institutional trader is looking out from 8.30 Central to 3 o'clock Central every day. That's all they look at. And if you have high-frequency trading around these uh, electric vehicle stocks, well, they're not looking out long-term. So how should you look at buying and building a long-term position in electric vehicle stocks? When I got in the business back in the late 90s, the big thing was tech stocks. Amazon was one of them, uh, along with many other tech companies. And I look at the price action on those companies during those really high emotional, high hyped periods of time, and people are buying at really, really high valuations, number one, but number two, real, real high prices. But when we got the market crash uh, from 2001 to 2003 in the tech bubble, you saw better opportunities to buy the Amazons, to buy the apples of the world. And as we went through the housing crash from 07 to 09, or the great financial crisis, we saw another opportunity to buy these good companies that now today dominate and rule their area of expertise. My view of electric vehicles is, it is the future. I will own an electric vehicle at some point in my life. Most likely I'll have a house full of them because my whole family will eventually convert from a combustion engine environment, we'll still own this, to more of a electric vehicle environment. I mean, even solar is very interesting to me. It's just the price valuations of them right now. But also, I look at it as, can I buy the electric vehicle stocks at a lower price? Looking at the valuations, the implied volatility premiums that these companies are running at, I look at them as an opportunity to wait and let them come down in value as the big institutional traders exit these stocks because of a, another COVID uh, uh, US shutdown, because another drop in sales of, of vehicles. 
And because of the change up in Washington, I see an opportunity at lower valuations on these electric vehicle stocks. And this is where you start to build positions. You start to allocate your, your dollars. I believe that the coming months, if not the coming year, we're going to see a better opportunity to buy these stocks at lower valuations. I'll dollar cost average in, starting out at about 2%, and eventually build my position up to 6% at lower and lower prices. And then I'll sit and wait. I will build my positions and risk manage around them because, because at the end of the day, all these top electronic electric vehicle companies are not going to survive. So I'll risk manage my positions around them, meanwhile making money, yet still investing for the long term. Recently, I was out in Colorado and got to experience all the fires that uh, Colorado has been experiencing. If you live in California, you're very well aware of how much the environment is changing. And I do believe that combustion engine cars will be a thing of the past. I will always keep this Corvette because it was a gift. It was my first car. It was from my grandfather, and it's, it's a legacy. And when I pass on, I'll leave it to my children. Hopefully, they will respect it, understand it. But unfortunately, someday down the road, owning this car will cost me a lot of money. To put a license plate on it today cost me 75 bucks a year. I don't drive it much, doesn't cost me much in maintenance, but eventually our governments, our government will tax this to force us out of combustion engine cars into electric vehicle cars. I see that starting to happen in about three to four years, where this car cost me $75 to put tags on it today, it'll cost me $750 down the road, and then $7,500, forcing me not to put tags on it, forcing me not to put it on the road, and in turn, doing some good for our environment. Now, those who know me know I'm not very much into the electric vehicle sound or lack of. I love the deep sound of a V8 engine. Um, I feel like the car I own now that I drive on a daily basis, I would love to cut the mufflers off because the sound would be deafening, but piercing, and but it's really cool. Whereas electric vehicle, well, I just don't, there is no sound. There's no thrill. I mean, yeah, roller coasters are fun, but if you're driving it every day, I love to hear that sound, the good old-fashioned combustion engine, that rumble of the engine. Electric vehicles don't, don't have that. But I think our environment's a little bit more important than my desire for deep-sounding V8 engines. In closing, I love the sound of a loud V8 engine. I love the sound of Formula One racing cars. I don't love the lack of sound of electric vehicles. But it doesn't mean I don't believe there, it is the future. I do think it's the future. But I also believe that there is a time, right time to buy stock, stocks within that area of electric vehicles. I think there's the best way to do it. And I believe risk managing and building a proper strategy around building the a portfolio in electric vehicles is what you got to do. Just to ride the trade, well, institutional traders feed off those who get emotional about their electric vehicle stocks. Oh, you know, I'm okay with losing 30%. Well, you lose 30%, you got to get north of 50% return just to get back to zero. So if you're going to own them, do it right. Do it right.